State Road in Champion is open. It was closed for several hours today after a semi-truck accident. You saw it during First News at Noon. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley has more. It's not an accident. This is a disaster. As Ohio Edison crews replaced a downed utility pole that was hit by a semi-truck, Randy Caldwell and his team worked to repair damages to the champion Dairy Queen caused by the accident. Our damage is extensive. It's ripped the power out of our building, so we're fixing that right now. It happened just after 7.30 a.m. on State Road near the intersection of Mahoning Avenue. Police Chief Larry Skagg says the semi-truck driver was running low on fuel and attempted to turn around when he hit a stop sign and utility pole, knocking it over. Which then caused a hazmat spill because of the transformer fluid. Skagg says the driver then went around the building and hit the awning above Fat Cat's tattoo and body piercing. So that's where he sits now. He cut the corner um, too short, struck the side of the building and then ripped open his semi. Crews cut the trailer, which was filled with electronics, headed for Texas before removing it from the awning. Skagg says the driver, Garrett Hughes, was cited for driving within Mark Lane's. Hughes didn't want to go on camera, but tells me this is his first week driving, and he made a rookie mistake. Caldwell says some inventory was lost, but they worked to save what they could by taking it to other Dairy Queen locations in Cortland and Newton Falls. He hopes the champion location will be able to reopen Friday. In our wildest expectation, we did not expect to show up to this much damage and just destruction. In Champion, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.